Hey, what's going on guys? Steven Davidson here. And I've been asked to put together my top five, so let's get started. This is for daily shaving. First one up is the Mercor 38C, and it's extremely mild, too mild. And this is one of the few razors where I can get away with maybe four or five passes before I get a close shave. But it is a two-piece, twist to open. You twist it, a bottom of it to unlock the top cap, and then boom. You do the same to do to reinstall the blade. I'll put the link below to everything. And this blade, this razor is so mild that I need a feather blade to get a decent shave out of it. I mean, it's got some real nice weight to it. And uh, basically, this is perfect for daily shaving. So for those who are in the military, not deployed, and uh, also uh, food service workers who are required to keep shaving daily, this razor is good for you guys. Short learning curve, but you do need a bit of a technique to it. And uh, if you're coming up from cartridges, I, I'd recommend this till you learn how you got everything settled before upgrading. But I would put this at number five on my list of razors for daily shaving. Okay, number four would be the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Double Open Comb. This is the original nickel-plated double open comb. And it's a sleeper. What I mean by that, it's comfortable enough to use on a daily basis, but efficient enough to wear three passes with the grain, across the grain, and against the grain. You got a BBS shave, guaranteed. Uh, I've got a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade in here. It's pretty easy to load. It's lightweight. And as I stated, it is a sleeper. Now, Razor Rock does have one called the Slock, which is short for Self Lubricating Open Comb Razor. And it's about 16 to 20 bucks, depending on which handle you get. I'll throwing some photos here in a moment now as far as blade recommendations for the dock as I stated lightweight it's about 35 bucks the feathers are great good blades but in terms of comfort I prefer the Gillette Wilkinson sword over the feather hands down cuz these right here are feather to me is harsh and there's two versions of the Gillette Wilkinson sword One's made in India, and one's made in China. The ones I, you see here in this video are made in China, and I'll throw a photo in here in a second. I have since learned that the Indian plant has closed down and um, has moved to China, so they no longer produce the Gillette Wilkinson swords in India, but they've made more than a ton of them. So. But I'm telling you, this is number four razor. If... You got a light beard growth, or you use that, thing, and then you're in good shape. That's the Indian made version, and there's the Chinese version. Now, there's the Razor Rock Slock, it's choice of handles, some specifications. Now, on to our number three choice of razor the Rockwell 6C White Chrome. Now they got another version that only comes with the two base plate, uh, actually one base plate, the number one and the three, the 6C comes with three base plates. And whatever number you see on the bottom is what you're shaving with. It is a three piece with interchangeable plates that the Gillette Wilkins Resort again was excellent in here. I thought the number four plate was too much and the number one wasn't enough, so I went with the number two and plate. And oh, I dropped it here. We're filming this, but the number four was too much. But number two was perfect. Comes with two other plates, one and three on opposite sides, and then five and six on the other on opposite sides. And uh, you just simply, even with the aggressive plates, I found it very hard to get cut with. And according to manufacturer Rockwell themselves, they have it up on their website. 
with the number one base plate, it's next to impossible to get cut. Wrench is pretty good, cleanly got a real nice heft to it. The safety bar was nice and comfortable. Uh, almost no blade gap, but there's some in there, but not a lot. And uh, I would recommend this in a heartbeat for somebody coming over from the cartridge world. Not much of a learning curve at all, and it's hard to get cut on to the next razor. Okay, here's the Leaf Shave Razor. This is my number two choice. Now you got an option of customizing your shave here. You can use one blade, two blades, or just all three. And uh, right now I've got feather in here, but I'm thinking about debating on whether or not to take a matter out and put Gillette 7 o'clocks in here. I think I'll just put the 7 o'clocks and save the feather for uh, the uh, other razors. Specifically the twig sculptor you see before you and the uh, new metal three-piece version from Italian Barber. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit tricky loading the blade, but it takes three half DE blades. If you can use a cartridge such as a Gillette Fusion Pro Glide or a Mach 3 or Schick Hydro 5 or Harry's, you can use this no problem. No technique required. All the geometry is preset. Just apply pressure and shave normally. And the only difference is you're using DE blade split in half. And you can also use the pre split shave at blades for uh, that which is a half a DE blade. And if you select it, uh, I'll get that in a minute. This is the Gillette 7 o'clock green super stainless green label. And these are the best blades I've ever used in the leaf, hands down. It felt like there's no blade in a razor of any kind. Now if you do select it, the leaf shave does come with a twig sculptor trimmer most people do not select it <coughs> excuse me and I find that the best blade to put in here was the feather DE blade it makes a heck of a trimmer but it does not have enough behind to it uh, to do a full shave but that's my number two razor on to the next my top dog my top razor of all time, the Fine Accoutrements Marvel Safety Razor. Comfortable and efficient. These words are perfect for the Marvel DE. A few specs on the back along with the story behind it, a little bit of a deal here. Got a real nice heavy weight to it. The uh, angle's machined into the top cap, an angular top cap, which makes it easier to use. And combined with the oversized safety bar that you see before you, it makes for one of the most comfortable shades you'll ever have. Extremely efficient. The uh, first time I used it was in a live shave with Scott Rollins. I have two videos up. One's in... Uh, High definition, the other is not for low speed connections. And the second shave was with this razor was not on camera. It is a three piece. And once again, the Gillette Wilkinson sword in this was fantastic. The second shave with this bad boy was uh, off camera with the uh, Cremo cooling shave cream, nothing else. No pre-shave or nothing, and it was one of the closest shave I ever got, ever. <coughs> Excuse me. And that pretty much concludes the majority of this video. Now, these are my top five daily use razors. So, if you're in a hurry and have a light beard growth, or even a moderate to heavy beard growth, and you want to get a close clean shave without skin irritation on a daily basis these would in my opinion these five would be your top from right to left the McCord 38C which would be honorable mention the one next to at the dock or 
Razor Rocks a Slock Razor would be good choice. The better choice would be the Rockwell 6C White Chrome. The best choices would be the Leaf Shave Razor. And I'm putting the blades where I think they would be uh, best suited for. And my ultimate choice would be the Marvel DE Razor. Those are my top choice for daily shavers. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care and God bless. And I will see you tomorrow night live on Facebook.